Hey yo, what's up? Maji here, and welcome to Friday Night Freestyle. And we are back with Kepler. And, well, it is the new Kepler? No, <laughs> the reimagined Kepler? No, uh, I don't think so. But, <laughs> well, it's the seven member version of Kepler. Because uh, Mashiro and Yeso are off on a new adventure. But the, seven, the other seven members that are left here in Kepler are, well, they're still continuing their own uh, journey. And yeah, we are here for it. So today we are going to be checking out their latest MV, which is entitled Tippy Tap. So is, does this count as a re-debut or just... No, I don't think so. <laughs> like if there are any other group... Uh, it's it's just it's just a comeback, right? So yeah, I uh, have no idea what this is gonna be about with a title like Tippy Tap. So let's just get right into it and let's see what Kepler has in store for us with this one. Here we go. What is this? Oh, that was weird. Oh, wow. Oh, I like this. This part feels so refreshing. Whoa! I'm gonna try to break that down later. so crazy to me i don't understand what is going on but i really 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 love it like oh my i 
I don't know why. I don't know why I like it so much. There's just... Oh. First of all... Like... Uh, no offense meant to the old coupler, but... This feels a bit more balanced now. I like that we get more... Uh... Eugene lines. It's like I really, really like her. She's, she's actually my my bias wrecker. <laughs> like, okay, nice. More, 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 more singing lines. But I like how each member feels a little bit more visible now that there's just seven of them. I mean, they were great before. I really like, you know, ap appreciated all the members of Kepler. But like nine, nine usually feels a bit unwieldy in terms of uh, line distribution. All right. So with seven, we get to see a little bit more of everyone, and like. I feel like each member like really had uh, these really cool moments. Like I like Eugene's parts. I like Hikaru's parts actually, and and that last chorus with Hie that looked really really cool. Just wow. And then, speaking of the chorus, I don't know what it is about it. It just felt so hypnotic. But not in like an obvious way. It's just, it felt really subtle. But it definitely pulled me in. And it's 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 tough to explain, but I really really like that chorus. And then when the chorus transitions into that uh, half whispered tippy tap, that's a whole different kind of mesmerizing on its own. Like this is this is a song that at first glance would seem generic to me. And I, I I I kind of felt this sense of familiarity with the MV. Like I feel like some of the scenes look so familiar to me that I might have seen them in some other MV. But it just felt like it was on the edge of that. But then again, everything also felt kind of fresh and new. Like, like this is yeah, like a group that is <laughs> restarting <laughs> in a sense. This sound coming from Kepler it still feels somewhat like them but at the same time so different which kind of makes sense because they're they're not quite the old Kepler but they're still Kepler seven out of nine <laughs> so but yeah, yeah, the, it, the song feels refreshing and nostalgic at the same time. I, I don't know how. 
I guess there's a part where it kind of sounds a little bit retro-esque. I wouldn't say retro exactly, but it does elicit these feelings of nostalgia. I guess we'll have to rely on the second playthrough to kind of point out certain things. And there's also some weird things going on. Like, like stuff that I can't explain. Like, I'll, we'll have to hear those again. The, there's there's definitely some weird things going on with the song, so yeah, yeah. Let's let's just r run it through again and let's let's see what we can point out. Let's hit replay. Okay, just that opening sequence. For some reason. The instrumental at the back of this kind of sounds like it's this distorted thing that is like winding down, like 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 something is breaking down in a techno kind of way. So it's 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 like it's it feels like something old that is breaking down, like like. It's, it is tough to explain, but yeah, that's what the instrumental at the back of this tippy tap intro sounds like to me. Yeah, it's it's like this discordant kind of thing. And we get into this. This part feels. It's the one that I meant like like feels familiar to me. Like it feels like Kepler in the days of what was that? Doblast? Feels like Doblast era Kepler. Sorry, I had to look at my my album behind me. Yeah. The way she pronounced peach. But maybe? I don't know if the subtitles are wrong. They were like, wouldn't that be pitch? Okay. This is the start of the, the, the weird things happening. Okay, first of all, the... the the video editing on this uh, so things are happening both in the video and also in the audio at different points <clears throat> but over here we get our first taste of it like like the thing that makes it go huh like <laughs> Dion like kind of freezing in place but her lips keep on moving so yeah She's moving forward, then freezes, then her lips still keep going for a second more. There, or like half a second more. This climbing up to the clouds thing feels like I've seen it in various other MVs before. Like I, I can't quite, my, quite put my finger to it. But, yeah. And this, I absolutely love this mythical thing that Eugen is riding on. Like, what is that? But it looks so cute. It looks so, so fluffy. I want a real life one. <laughs> Okay, th there is something going on there. L let me see if I can hear it again. I, I can't... Oh. I'm so sorry, I do not know my instruments. But I feel like there's a distort somewhere in the percussive instruments in the background. And that's what... <clears throat> 
that's what makes this chorus feel a bit weird. But at the same time, so hypnotic. It's like at the surface, if you just take in their singing, seems like your typical chorus. But there is some weird stuff going on in the instrumentals there. Okay, but yeah, I really, really like that. And then we get into this tippy tap, and for me, it's a quite a different vibe. But yeah, Hikaru is so cool here. Both this one and in the in the next one. Wait, I I want to see that thing going on there. Like, who got highlighted in the back? She taps uh, Young Un, and then the other five were just no four. The other four? Who isn't here? I have Trey and Diane, Eugene. He isn't there. I also really like this line. I, I like the syncopation coming from Dion. It's just like... I really like it when uh, vocal lines do that. Um, when you get this... <coughs> rhythm that differs from the beat. And this part, sorry if I'm, well, this is the second playthrough. I'm not going to say sorry for pausing. Um, this part is what I meant when I was saying retro-esque. Uh, this is the, s the part where I, I would describe it as I have described other things like it in the past as something that reminds me of stuff my mom listens to. Which is not necessarily like super in the past. My mom also listens to a f a quite a few modern stuff. But like, yeah, that that's what that's just what I feel personally. It's like you know, every mom is different. <laughs> but I guess it's because like my parents musically, like in terms of music background, I feel like what they have imparted to me is more of like Euro pop, and so that that's what the feel reminds me of Euro pop. I guess I guess if I'm gonna analyze it a bit. Like, according to my own musical perception and bias. I'm not saying it is Europop, it's just, it just makes me feel that way. Okay, wait, 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 there's the first of the things that also... weird like <coughs> um earlier i got weirded out by the video right <coughs> sorry but now there's something that happened in the audio here like we got a like a a, a stutter in the audio oh that is so cool it 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 jumped between like if you're wearing headphones it jumps between your ears but like it's so fast it's 
it's hardly noticeable. Can, can I get through that again? Yeah, it's so fast. It's like, like less than half a second or something like that. Okay, this, sorry, <laughs> this chorus feels different from the first one. The first one I mentioned had, I said like, it felt like there's some discordant vibes from the percussion. This one, I didn't hear it. I don't know if it's there or not, but what I most noticed with this one is that you have these like uh like choir like audio samples going on in the background sort of like uh really like uh what do you call this this not, i wouldn't say distorted but like like these uh so it sort of feels like angelic sounds and then you can't understand what they're saying or if they're even saying something it just feels like they're making sounds yeah it, it feels like like angel voice audio sample kind of things weird I like Hikaru's outfit there. Here. And then, this is probably the chorus I like the best. The one with Hiya doing it. For some reason. There's just something about Hiya in this particular chorus. I guess probably it's because I feel like she fits this chorus quite well. I think I think it's like something like that. Okay, there. That's that's the other thing. Like, what was that? Did you guys hear that? It is supposed to go L O V E, but. It, it it jumped all over the place. It's like it's skirt skirting without the actual skirt skirt. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that <laughs> with that description. Skirt skirting. Um it is not <laughs> going the actual skirt but like it feels that way and that is so weird but like it it's one of those things that like it it, it just makes you go huh and then it, the, the moment just passes by <laughs> That that really was quite a song. <coughs> wow. So, uh, I really like that when a song can make you go like. 
What? It means it's not predictable, right? And I like how we have these subtle things that like you don't really notice on the surface. But when you listen to it deeply, like it feels like there's a mystery a mystery underlying the song. Not not really sinister, but mysterious. Especially with how like we get those discordant vibes in in the intro and in the first chorus. Then it's in the second chorus it's just, it, it it was those like I don't even know if I want to describe it it's like angelic voice things. It's it's probably just like choral voice things. Or something like that. But yeah, it feels like that. And then th that that skipping thing in the last uh, the code is L O V E. Like, what was that? What was going on there? It just makes you like. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps you on your toes, and like that uh, this is something that well uh, might sound familiar at times but at the same time it's it's not at all it feels new it feels refreshing and it's just awesome that way so yeah uh, props to the composers props to Kepler for pulling off uh, this kind of concept and well I'm quite excited for this era of Kepler that uh, well we have just the seven members now but like I want to see if there might be any interaction between Kepler and Maiden in the in the future like I, I want those two groups to do a collab sometime. Or maybe not even a collab. Maybe just appear on some variety show together. I feel like that would be so fun. Because like, I've been exploring a lot of Maiden this past... Uh, how many weeks? But... Um, and I'm really, really excited for the group. Especially now that, well, yeah, Masher and Yes are there. But I still have this same, uh, this same attachment that I have for Kepler. Because if some of you are new uh, to this channel, Kepler is the reason that I started this U YouTube channel. Like, I, d I decided to stop being a solo stan. And branch out into other groups, and Kepler was the first group that I decided I decided to check out in my journey to becoming a multi. So yeah, uh, I'll always have this special place in my heart for Kepler, and I'm glad that they didn't disband. Because like the fear for this, er, like earlier this year, was that they would be disbanding, and like yes. Uh, we know there's there's still a future for Mashiro and Yesa, but like, what about the rest of the members? And when I heard that the rest, the other seven members were gonna continue on as Kepler, I was like, because I already we already knew the Mashiro Yesa thing like beforehand, like even like the last past year or so. But it was the other seven that I was worrying about, and I'm so glad that they renewed their contract and that they are continuing as Kepler because they are still Kepler and it's so wonderful to see them like here in this MV in particular it's just I guess it's like how I've been describing the MV relates to how I feel about them as well 
because it is like they are familiar to me but at the same time it feels new right because this is a new era for them and yeah we are here for it so i'm hoping to check out some more content from kepler kepler s7 uh i'm sure will still be just as wacky as chaotic as ever and yeah i do want to see a day in the future where they will come face to face with maiden whether it's a stage collab or a variety show so yeah i'll be looking forward to that in the meantime i think that is it for my reaction to kepler's tippy tap really really love the mv really love the song definitely making it onto my daily playlist and it's a possible candidate for my jamming playlist which is the playlist where i have like uh like my most favorite songs ever <laughs> so yeah we'll see but yeah definitely on the daily playlist so i think that's it and we'll wrap this up right here so don't forget to like comment and subscribe also feel free to check out my patreon where i also post reactions to longer form content more casual content most of which is available for free you can probably see the titles pop up here on the side there's also some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe such as access to my k-drama and anime reactions which incidentally you can also access for free for seven days as that is tier one of my patreon and it has a seven day free trial so you might want to well try that out also higher tiers of my patreon get various levels of early access depending on the tier as well as priority when it comes to recommendations but don't get too fussed about all that like i said most of the stuff on my patreon is available for free so don't be afraid to check it out the link to my patreon is in the description down below as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the said free content on my patreon so you might want to start with that first the link to that is also in the description down below anyways thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this exciting and amazing journey with kepler until next time have a great day, everyone, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.